The plan for my short film was to create a film based on a real life issue. At the beginning, I wasn't too sure what to create it on, but then I decided to base it on a psychological illness called schizophrenia. I wanted to present this short film through the eyes of a teenage girl who goes off her medication because of a traumatic event. This film follows the girl and shows how she spirals out of control. I wanted to raise awareness on schizophrenia and the effects of it going on the person who is dealing with it. In this video, I will be watching back my short film and going through some of the main scenes, and I will be analysing what I think I did well, what I could have improved on, and if I had more time, and the process of filming and editing. The first scene I will be talking about is scene two. I liked the way I framed all of the shots, except one of them. I found the process of filming the of this scene went quite well. I didn't realise that all of the audio contained quite a lot of static, so I spent a day trying to get rid of the static. I did manage to get rid of it after some time. I also didn't realise that one of the cameras wasn't white balanced properly, so the footage had a yellow glow to it. I spent some time trying to make the shots look more like the other shots. I did this by playing around with the colours in the scenes. I did plan on reshooting this scene, but I was unable to due to cast not being available. The next scene I will be talking about is scene 4. I needed to do a reshoot for this scene because some of the footage didn't record and I didn't like how the lighting was set. When it came to reshooting this scene, it went fairly quickly as I knew exactly where I needed to set up the cameras and I also knew what shots I needed and how I needed to frame them. When it came to editing the sex conversation, I found it very stressful as I didn't know what I was doing. When I knew what I was doing, I did become very annoyed at times as the text wouldn't move at the same time as the text bubble. Once I got the hang of it, it became much easier to do and I was able to get this done. Overall, I am pleased with how this scene has turned out. If I had more time, I would have spent it on editing the text and making it run more smoothly. With the next scene, which is scene 5, I found it quite easy to film the second time round, as I decided to film it in the day instead of when it was dark. I used a track and dolly to film the scenes where the actors were walking. When it came to editing the scene, I found it quite difficult, so I asked some help and was shown how to use a mask that would make the clips overlay without ruining the scene. This came out much better than I thought it would. In scene 6, the process of filming didn't go the way I wanted to, because there was people walking by and yelling deliberately. I knew that it was deliberate as they were referencing the fact I was filming. This really annoyed me as I did put up signs on every door saying that I would be filming, and I asked them to possibly not make too much noise. When it came to editing, I needed to edit the static out of the audio. I managed to do this quickly as I knew exactly what I needed to do as I had previously done it in another scene. If I had more time, I would reshoot this scene. When it came to scene 7, I did a reshoot as I wasn't happy with the footage I got from the scene as the lighting wasn't right. I managed to improve the lighting when I completed the reshoot. One main problem I had when filming was the cat that came into the room, so we then decided to put the cats and dogs into one room so that they wouldn't interrupt anymore. I am pleased with how this scene turned out. Once I completed the reshoot, I was very happy with the final edit of the scene. The next scene I'll be talking about is scene 8. I did a reshoot for this scene because I also filmed this scene at night originally, but I was unable to use the footage because the light on the camera stopped working. I did plan to do a reshoot, but I was unable to get my cast to film at night again, so I reshot it during the day. The reshoot went quite well, except the fact that my actor had a sore throat and they couldn't speak, so I decided to have no dialogue in this scene, as I was unable to reschedule to film. When I first filmed these scenes at night, I tried to record a scene where it focuses on the main character, and then it pans up to the sky. I used a jib for this. It didn't turn out the way I wanted, so I didn't plan on using it. I also used a track and dolly to film some of these scenes. I also edited another text conversation within this scene. This went relatively quick as I knew what I was doing. In scene 9, I feel that I managed to frame all the shots very well, and the audio turned out quite well, as it was very clear. When it came to the edit, all I needed to do was cut all the shots together so that I knew they were in order. I also edited some of the flashback scenes, and this went well as I knew exactly where to put them. I also made sure I filmed these when on location. I knew exactly how I wanted to them framed for the flashback scenes. I personally wouldn't change anything about this scene. In my opinion, it's one of my best. The final scene I'll be looking at is scene 10. I changed the way I originally was going to present this scene. The original plan was that the main character was going to put the tablets down the drain but I changed it to someone else throwing them down the drain, with her in the background reacting and being anxious, as I felt it would have a bigger impact on the viewers and the narrative. Overall, I'm pleased with how my project has turned out. I know there are a few things that I would have changed if I had more time than I previously mentioned.